I spilled black nail polish all over my carpet. Hey guys, it's Britt. Welcome to the last video in my Halloween series. That means Halloween. I mean, <laughs> I'm so used to saying Halloween. Halloween is next week. So today's video is going to be um, a fun one that I've never done anything like before, which I feel like I say in so many of my videos because I'm still like so new at YouTube. It is going to be three nail tutorials. So I'm going to be showing you some super cute, simple, easy, beginner nail designs inspired by Halloween. The best part about these nail designs is you don't need any fancy nail tools to make them happen. You can just use things that you have around your house. And just one quick side note before we jump into the video, during the process of filming, I spilled black nail polish all over my carpet. Yeah, all over. So if you want to hear some tips and tricks on how to get nail polish out of your carpet, then stay tuned to the end and I will share those tricks with you. Okay, well let's just jump into the video. The first design is this really cute and simple little ghost with his little ghosty eyeballs. The colors you need for this are white, black, and optional, a glitter top coat. The household supplies you need is something with a large round bottom, like a makeup brush, and something with a smaller one, like a bobby pin. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and paint your nails white. I always like to start with the nail that I'm going to be doing the nail art on, because that way it will dry the quickest, so when I come back to it after painting the rest of my nails, it should be ready. I always like to do two coats of whatever color I'm applying, and you guys can absolutely apply a base coat. I'm just extremely lazy and honestly don't find that they benefit me that much, so I don't do it, but you can. I then applied my glitter top coat just to the accent nail where I'm going to be doing the little ghost just to spice it up a little bit, but like I said, this part is definitely optional. Now using your larger of the round tools, in this case I'm using a makeup brush, you're going to dip that in a little bit of your black nail polish and very gently press that black polish onto your nail to create the outer part of the little eyeballs. You just have to do this with a very light hand. After the black has had a chance to dry, you're going to go in with the smaller round tool and dot the white nail polish to make the inside part of the eye. And it is literally as simple as that. You now have little ghosty fingernails that are perfect for Halloween. They're super subtle, but really cute and festive. The second design is very similar to the ghost, just a tad bit more complicated, and it is a mummy. The polishes you need for this design are black and white, and the household items you need are a large dotting tool like a makeup brush, a smaller one like a bobby pin, and then something even smaller to draw with like a toothpick. Just like in the last design, I'm starting by painting my accent nail first with my white polish, and then I'm going to go through and paint the rest of my nails in black. Once your accent nail has had time to dry, dip your toothpick in the black nail polish. And you're essentially going to swipe this polish across your nail in kind of a zigzag pattern to make it look like the wraps of a money. A money? A mummy. I found that it was easiest to kind of dot that toothpick along. If you have a tiny makeup brush or even a nail brush, that would work just as well, but I didn't have that, so I'm just using a toothpick. But I just went slow and steady and slowly went ahead, what was I saying? Slow and steady and slowly dragged and dotted the black polish along my nail. Let this design dry fully before moving on. This was the point where I spilled the black nail polish all over my carpet, so I had plenty of time to let mine dry. But anyways, once it's dry, you're going to take your larger dotting tool that you're using, dip it in the black, and start your eyeballs with that little black dot. I found that because the background of this design is black and white, to really make those eyeballs pop, I did three layers of color. So I started with black, went to white, and ended with black, like you're going to see here. Like I said, do the next layer in white. I'm using my bobby pin because it's a little bit smaller to make a little bit of a smaller dot on top of that black dot that we just made. 
and finish those eyeballs off by using your toothpick or your smallest dotting tool and put little black dots inside the eyeballs and you're done. Now you have super cute mummy nails that are just adorable and perfect for Halloween. The last design are these really cool and really subtle dripping blood vampire-esque nails. The colors you're going to need are black and a glittery top coatish red. And the only household supply you need for this is a bobby pen. Start out by painting all of your nails with the black polish. Once that polish has dried, then you're going to go in with the red glitter top coat. You're going to swipe this polish pretty heavy handed across the top of your nail, kind of like a French manicure. And I say heavy handed because you want to have some extra polish to work with. Once you've swiped that polish across the top, you're going to want to add even more polish to your bobby pin and kind of dip that bobby pin into the stripe across the top and drag it downwards to add little drips. Now this is very subtle because I'm using a top coat type polish. If you want this to be really over the top and bright, you could totally use a solid red nail polish. I found that it was best because it was so subtle to go ahead and go in with two coats of the red. So I did the blood drips once and then I went over them and did it even more and added a really nice kind of layered effect. And I do apologize that it's a little hard to see the red going on here because the colors are the black's so dark and the red is so transparent, but you get the idea. So once you're done, you are done. I love this look because it is super subtle from far away. It just looks like you have black nails, but you get up close and you can see that cool little detail. It's definitely a super cool look for Halloween and I think it's probably my favorite. And that's it guys, three easy nail designs that literally anyone can do. Super beginner and really cute and halloween e festive e for Halloween. Yeah. If you decide to try any of these nail designs, then please share them with me on Instagram. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you might wanna see some other kind of nail inspired videos in the future and also subscribe. I post videos every week. Okay, now, really quickly before I go. My nose is itching as it always is. How to get nail polish out of your carpet. So like I said, I was filming my tutorial and somehow knocked the black nail polish off of the table and it fell in such a way that it literally created like a huge stripe across the carpet with big blobs like next to the stripe. Like it was terrible. Like it looked like I hit it with some force. I probably did. I don't know, mom, if you're watching this, you're probably not surprised. She's literally probably rolling her eyes at me because I've always been kind of notoriously messy. Um, and But I've never done this before. It reminds me of the time though that I drew on my carpet when I was a kid with marker and told my mom that I didn't do it, a ghost did. So maybe a ghost came and knocked this nail polish off, I don't know. Anyways, how to get nail polish out of your carpet. I don't think I've ever Googled anything so fast. I didn't even film the polish on my carpet. I thought about it, but I was like, no, Brittany, you do not need to film that right now. You need to Google how to get that polish out of your carpet. So I Googled and I saw everyone saying Windex, 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 Windex. So I sprayed a ton of Windex on the carpet all over the spot, let it soak in and then went and dabbed and tried to rub it out and it like literally smeared it so much worse that I was just, I knew that this was not working, this was not working. But I kept reading, people were saying, no, it's gonna smear, it's gonna look way worse before it looks better, like just keep going. So I rubbed as much as I could, sprayed a ton more Windex on the carpet, let it soak, really dabbed it in there, rubbed some more and that was finally making a difference. Like it really came out a lot but there was still some left over, so other people said vinegar. So I poured vinegar all over the carpet and poured vinegar on my towel and just like soaked my towel into the nail polish with so much pressure, I scrubbed the carpet hard. And that worked. Between the Windex and the vinegar and a lot of scrubbing, pretty much all of it came out. I have kind of 
tannish carpet. So thank God it wasn't white. It's old school carpet, so it's pretty long. So if you pull the fibers apart and really look down in there, you can see some black residue, but for the most part, it's gone. I could not believe it. It was a miracle. So I saved the day, I cleaned up my mess, and now you guys know if you ever spill nail polish, even black nail polish, there is a way to get it out of your carpet. So that's that. But it is going to be a three nail tutorial Tutorials. 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 Ben's talking in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. He's on the phone with Sonic because our internet is having problems. And if our internet goes down, then Ben loses his mind. 